Hi everyone, I am Dr. Saundara Raj. I am very happy to interact with you all through this video. In this video, I am going to take you through a problem in the chapter Marginal Casting. This problem is related with the calculation of PVR, break-even point sales and margin of safety when there are changes in selling price per unit, variable cost per unit and the total fixed cost. These are all a couple of details related to me. After you watch the full video, if you find the video beneficial to you, give a like to the video and do subscribe my channel so that you get the notifications for my future videos. Let's get into the problem. The following information is obtained from Gopu and company for the year ending on 31st March 2018. Sales 2 lakh rupees, variable cost 1 lakh 50,000 rupees, fixed cost is amounted 30,000 rupees. These three data are presented in the problem. You are required to calculate the following. A. Present PV ratio, break even point and margin of safety. That is for the standard situation. Then B. Revised PVR, BEP and margin of safety in each of the following cases. There are about 8 situations presented under question B. We need to answer them separately. Therefore, each of these 8 situations to be treated as a separate problem. Now let's prepare a small statement in a customized way which could be named as marginal cost and contribution statement from which we can compute the PVR, BEP and margin of safety for the standard situation presented in the problem. Followed by, we will discuss about the calculations required for answering question B. Now, let us get into the statement titled Marginal Cost and Contribution Statement. Sales as it is presented in the problem, it is amounted 2 lakh rupees. Less variable cost 1 lakh 50,000, it gives us 50,000 rupees of a contribution. Now, less fixed cost 30,000 rupees so that you get the balance of contribution as profit. It is amounted 20,000 rupees. Now let's straightly calculate the PV ratio. The formula for calculating PV ratio is contribution divided by sales into 100. So it is 50,000 rupees contribution divided by 2 lakh rupees sales into 100 gives us 25% of a profit volume ratio. Followed by, let us get into the calculation of a break even sales. The formula for calculating break even sales is fixed expenses divided by PVR. Fixed expenses given in the problem is 30,000 rupees. The PV ratio calculated just now is 25%. Therefore, break even point sales is amounted 1 lakh 20,000 rupees. Margin of safety is the next requirement according to question A. Sales minus break even sales, that means actual sales minus break even sales is a formula for calculating margin of safety. Actual sales given in the problem is 2 lakh rupees. Break even sales we have calculated just now as 1 lakh 20,000 rupees. So 2 lakh rupees minus 1 lakh 20,000 rupees, it gives us 80,000 rupees of margin of safety. Therefore, till now we have answered question A. Now let us get into question B. Statement showing revised PV ratio, BEP and margin of safety. We will answer the requirement for each of the 8 situations separately. All those workings will be done for answering the requirements of 8 situations are presented in the same table. Now particulars, revised PVR, revised BEP for every situation we will calculate separately and revised margin of safety. The formula for PVR as you all know, contribution divided by sales. How we normally calculate contribution? Sales minus variable cost will give us contribution. Then revised BEP, fixed cost divided by revised PVR. Revised margin of safety, actual sales minus BEP sales. That's a usual formula for calculating margin of safety. Now what is situation 1 in B requirement? 25% increase in selling price. You assume in this situation that selling price is 100. That means what? 100 in the sense what I mean because in the absence of the sales volume in units, you can very well assume that the sales volume remains constant in the entire problem. 
so in the situation as it is beautifully stated here please have a look at it revised pv ratio is calculated by making adjustments to the original pv of 25% that is for sale of 100 rupees so let us assume that the sale is 100 and the pv ratio is 25% that's what in the standard situation from that we have to do the required adjustments that are asked in the problem if the sales is 100 variable cost is 75 and the remaining 25 rupees of uh, sales is nothing but contribution and that is what the idea behind the entire working done in the problem so 25 percent increase in selling price see the new selling price is 125 rupees minus variable cost there is no change in the variable cost it remains the same 75 so divided by the new selling price 125 into 100 gives us 40 percent pvr in the first situation what about bep there is no change in the fixed cost it remains the same there is only one change in situation one that's nothing but 25 percent increase in selling price from 100 it has become 125 the rest of the things remain the same so 30,000 rupees divided by new pvr 40 percent gives us 75,000 rupees of bep what about uh, margin of safety? 2,50,000 rupees sales. Originally it was 2 lakh. Now it is 2,50,000. Yes. If the selling price is increased by 25%, when there is no change in the sales volume, because it is not stated clearly in the problem, that is why we could assume that there is no change in sales volume. In that situation, you add 25% to the 2 lakh rupees of actual sales in the standard situation in order to calculate the revised sales in situation 1 of question B. That is what done here. 2 lakh plus 25 percentage of 2 lakhs, it gives you 2 lakh 50,000 rupees. That's a revised sales minus BEP. We just now calculated as 75,000. So what is margin of safety? 1 lakh 75,000. Now the second situation is 10 percent decrease in selling price from 100 it comes down to 90 so 90 minus same variable cost 75 divided by the new selling price 90 it gives us 16.666 or 16.67 percent of pvr then revised bep 30,000 rupees fixed cost divided by new pvr 16.67 percent it gives us 180,000 rupees of revised BEP. Revised margin of safety is a third question to be answered under second situation. How the 180,000 rupees actual sales is calculated? Yes, 2 lakh is a standard amount of sales or 2 lakh is a sales amount in the standard situation. You reduce it by 10%. It gives you 180,000 rupees. That's a revised sale in situation 2 minus this 180,000 is nothing but the break even point sales we calculated just now therefore margin of safety in situation 2 is 0 the third situation is what 20% increase in fixed cost there is only change in fixed cost therefore the PVR of the standard situation could be applied very well as it is in third situation also what was the PVR we calculated originally in the third situation see this is what 25 percent the same could be applied still it is calculated in this method 100 minus 75 selling price 100 minus uh, variable cost 75 divided by selling price 100 into 100 has given us 25 percent then BEP 36,000 rupees how 30,000 rupees of fixed cost has become 36,000 it is beautifully stated in the third situation that 20 percent increase in fixed cost 30,000 plus 20 percent of fixed cost will give you 36,000 rupees that's a revised fixed cost in situation 3 divided by PVR 25 percent it gives us 1,44,000 rupees of break even point margin of safety actual sales minus BEP sales there is no change in actual sales there is only one change we find in situations 3 that's nothing but 20 percent increase in fixed cost so 2 lakh minus the revised break even point sales we calculated here it gives us 56,000 rupees of margin of safety then situation 4 it says 10 percent decrease in fixed cost then there is no change in pvr it is going to be the same 25 percent regarding fixed cost 
from 30,000 rupees, you need to deduct 10% of 30,000, which comes to 3,000. So 30,000 minus 3,000 has given us 27,000 rupees of new fixed cost divided by PVR 25%. It gives us 1,8,000 rupees of break-even point sales. Now let's calculate margin of safety. Actual sales minus BEP sales. 2 lakh actual sales, there is no change in it. Minus BEP, we calculated just now, it is 1 lakh 8,000. So the answer of margin of safety for situation 4 is 92,000 rupees. Now situation 5, 10% increase in variable cost. There is no change in selling price. It is going to be the same. But what about the original variable cost per unit? It was 75. Now you add 10% with that it becomes 82.50 rupees per unit. So 100 minus 82.5 divided by 100 into 100 has given us 17.5% as PVR. Now BEP same 30,000 rupees divided by 17.5% PVR has given us 1,71,429 rupees of break even point sales in situation 5. Now what about margin of safety? There is no change in the value of sales. So it is going to be the same amount of 2 lakh rupees as per the standard situation minus the break even point sales in situation 5 is 1,71,429 gives a result of 28,571 rupees. That is nothing but margin of safety. Then sixth situation says there is a decrease of 10% in variable cost. Fine, selling price is going to be the same 100, but variable cost from 75, you deduct 10 percentage of 75, it gives you the revised variable cost of 67.5 divided by 100, that gives you the PVR of 32.5%. Now, break even point sales, 30,000 rupees fixed cost divided by 32.5% of PVR, it gives you 92,308 rupees as break even point sales for situation 6. Then let's calculate margin of safety for situation 6. 2 lakh rupees of sales minus BEP sales 92,308. It gives us 1,7692 rupees of margin of safety. Now, 7th situation says 10% increase in selling price accompanied by 10% decrease in variable cost. So you find two changes taken place with regard to situation 7. Now from 100 the selling price has become 110 because there is an increase of 10% in selling price. Regarding variable cost it has become 67.5 per unit because there is a decrease of 10% in the variable cost. So from 75 rupees it comes down to 67.5 rupees per unit divided by the new selling price of 110 into 100 it gives you the PVR of 38.636% now let's calculate the break even point sales for 7th situation 30,000 rupees of fixed cost divided by PVR 38.636% it gives us 77,648 rupees as break even point sales for situation 7 what about margin of safety for the same situation? The actual sales of 2,20,000 rupees minus the break even point sales of 77,648. How this actual sales of 2,20,000 is calculated? Yes, standard sales is 2 lakh rupees. You add 10% with that, it becomes 2,20,000 rupees. That is how it is done. Then the eighth situation 10% decrease in selling price accompanied by 10% increase in variable cost. From 100, the selling price comes down to 90. Then variable cost from 75 rupees per unit, it becomes 82.5 per unit because it is added with the 10% of the same. Divided by the revised selling price 90 into 100 gives us 8.33% of PBR. Then break even point is calculated here. 30,000 rupees fixed cost because there is no change in fixed cost in situation 8 divided by the revised PVR for the same situation is 8.33%. It gives us the break even point of 3,60,144 rupees. Now we 
calculate margin of safety for the eighth situation. 180,000 sales. How the sales has become 180,000? Yes, selling price comes down by 10%. Therefore, from 2 lakh standard sales, you deduct 10% of the same. It gives you 180,000 rupees of revised sales minus break even point sales for 8th situation which is 3,60,144 that gives you 1,80,144 rupees of margin of safety for 8th situation. And the first note I have already discussed with you. Let's look at the second note also. That's what the assumption we had as there is no change in the sales volume because there is no information about change in sales volume given in the problem and that is what stated in the second note. I hope you have understood my explanation thoroughly with regard to this particular problem. It looks to be a very good problem because it consists of varied situations with regard to changes in selling price, changes in fixed cost, changes in variable cost like that. So kindly watch this video for a couple of times to gain better understanding over this particular problem. Thanks for your time to watch this video. I will meet you in another video. Bye for now everyone.